So I'm going to be sharing my story of insomnia and how it made me feel completely worthless by the end of it and left me jobless, depressed, divorced and living in a van. And if I can show you how common this erosion of confidence and self-esteem is, I can show you that really what you're feeling and what you're going through it's just a symptom of the condition just like having a runny nose is a symptom of hay fever and yeah during my two decades of insomnia I did things and neglected to do a lot of things but I wasn't proud of and this just added a layer of guilt and shame to my insomnia and it just created more suffering so if there's anything you've done or neglected to do because of your insomnia this video is going to help build that confidence and self-esteem back up and by normalizing it take away that guilt and shame that you may well attach to it during the early stages of it i was a pretty confident outgoing happy person now i really used to get stuck into life i used to jump out of airplanes for fun i used to surf I had really good uh, friendship groups and it was during my early 20s that i met and my my wife who I'm married later in my 30s so yeah i did have a life that i was proud of it was challenging a life that i took risks in and <laughs> That kind of all went because of really two things. I think the first thing is when you've had a poor night of sleep, you feel fatigued the next day. So all these plans that you had, maybe you had planned to meet up with your friends. You just think, you know what? I'm not gonna do that today. I'm gonna wait until I've slept better. So I'm just gonna cancel that. And yeah, I'm not gonna exercise today. And I'm gonna spend the day basically resting. And yeah, on the occasion, it's fine to do this. You know, we've all had days where we don't feel great, so we detach and don't do much. But if you're living with insomnia, and it's something that you have lived with for years, those days where you feel fatigued and you don't want to do anything, they just mount up on top of each other and slowly but surely they become the norm. So you're just completely removing yourself and detaching from life so the fatigue you can feel the next day that can certainly drive that living outside of your life which can cause that low self-esteem and low confidence but another reason are the avoidance sleep efforts so avoidance sleep efforts are absolutely corrosive um, to people with insomnia so avoidance sleep efforts are if i want to sleep tonight i can't eat late in a restaurant i can't meet up with my friends because i'll be too energized if i, I can't go see that band and these kind of small things are how avoidance sleep efforts start but then they become huge so for me i had a job that i absolutely loved so i used to hire out native american teepees and that would take me all around the country so i'd work on film sets i'd meet rock stars and it's a really fun adventurous life that i created for myself and i stopped doing it because of my insomnia and, and yeah, so I lost my, my, my business that I loved because of it, and I lost my marriage as well. So when my wife first met me, I was this confident, outgoing person that she fell in love with. And slowly but surely, the more I stepped outside of my life and the more I stopped doing the things that made me me, the less there was of me to, to love. And one of the worst, well, I say worst, but I don't want to add any more guilt, but one of the hardest things for her was that I stopped sharing a bed with her so when it first started my insomnia I would share a bed with her but you know I'd be woken up by her occasionally in the night and so I stopped sharing a bed and then I started sleeping in a spare bed in the same room but even sleeping in a spare bed in the same room became pretty difficult because I would look over her and she'd be sleeping incredibly well and I wouldn't be. I'd be struggling, I'd be fighting, I'd be forcing, I'd be pleading with sleep and seeing someone in bed in a place I couldn't get to and just was desperate to get to just filled me with so much envy that I just couldn't bear it and so to sleep better I started taking my mattress from the spare bed and just putting it into the spare room on the floor and in there I could just close the door on my suffering and I could just deal with my insomnia by myself and slowly but surely that night time migrate from the bedroom to the spare room with my mattress became a nightly thing till eventually <clears throat> I completely moved out the bedroom started 
took up camp basically in the spare room and probably one of the hardest things I've ever heard in my entire life was this was in my 30s just before uh, we got divorced uh, she came into the room and she said to me you know I don't love you anymore because um, there's nothing left to love and you because you're like a 14 year old boy and um, it was designed to be incredibly hurtful and the reason why it was incredibly hurtful is because she was absolutely right you know there was nothing left to love I'd completely stripped everything from my life in order to try and appease my insomnia <clears throat> and I was just a basically just someone who would just lie in bed for 14 hours a day mess everywhere just barely doing anything I, I, completely lost all my friends by then because I wasn't meeting up with them. Um, <clears throat> basically, I had no life left and that's kind of where insomnia got me to and what's that going to do to your feeling of self-worth when you're not getting stuck into life, not challenging yourself and not really grabbing hold of it at all. And I think especially for men, so men we value our self-worth on our achievements, on over uh, on accomplishing goals. I know women do as well, uh, but for men especially, that's how we, where we peg our self-worth. And I had absolutely no self-worth whatsoever because I didn't do anything that I was proud of. And so yeah, that's my own story of how insomnia eroded my entire life. And I'm sure you've got something similar. Yeah, maybe there's been times where you've not shown up for yourself, your partner, for your friends, where if you've got kids, you've not been the, the mum or the dad you've wanted to be because you feel so stressed and anxious about your sleep and because you, you're doing all these things to try and protect it and you're living outside of your life and maybe you've developed depression or anxiety because of it. And hopefully by sharing my own story, I've just really shown you that this is so common. This, this erosion of self, it's just a symptom of insomnia. That really is all it is. It pretty much happens to everyone. And so please, if there's any guilt and shame attached to all the things that, that are lacking and lost in your life because of insomnia, please do try and let go of any of that guilt and shame attached to it. Because if you're in a slurry pit of um, self-loathing it's really not going to help you nobody chooses to have insomnia it, and really what's hard is people think that insomniacs are lazy but we're not lazy we literally do every single thing we can in order to try and sleep no one tries harder to overcome insomnia than insomniacs the reason why you can't is because there's so much misinformation out there which just adds more anxiety stress and control around your sleep and so yeah please do forgive yourself if any of the things that i've said have resonated with you and there's anything that you've done in the past or are continuing to doing that you're not proud of because of your insomnia a little bit different on the next video analyzing a sleep video i found by hamza so i'm just going to be doing a little review on his sleep advice